Hey everybody, so this is basically going to be my um, December fish room tour. Um, I'm basically just going to make this right before I make a, a bunch of huge changes and a lot of stuff's going out and new stuff's coming in. So I just wanted to make this for myself and whoever's watching to just kind of look at and hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get started on my um, first tank. So this right here is just a standard 29 gallon planted tank. Um, in here I have a bunch of Flecos, um, obviously you can see all the German Rams, um, I have one Discus, um, some Angels, a lot of Dwarf Cichlids, just a bunch of random, this is just like a community tank that also is raising a lot of fish, so, yeah, so, maybe we can just look at some of the fish, this right here is one of my BEX Rams, so it's like a black Cross with electric blue. I have one pair of these guys, and the female has disappeared off somewhere. I also have a bunch of these long fin electric blue rams that I raised. I just recently put these rainbow shiners in here, and and they've really made a huge difference. Um, a lot of these tetras, and you can see all these super blue carry tetras, and um, a bunch of this lesser pearl danios I bred, and all those things. They were always hiding until I put these rainbow shiners in. So, yeah. I'm really glad that I put them in. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, I have, I have one pair of these Epistogram of Fire Golds. So this is the female right here. And um, here's the male. Here's a bunch of their fry. I have around like 30 of these guys in here. And I have some like random Celestia Paul Danio, some like Brigitte Rasboras. I don't know, just like a random mix of a bunch of fry. And what else do I have in here? Oh, my discus. This is a Santarum discus, like a wild, um, a wild variant. I just got one discus. He was like, I got him around six months ago. He was a lot smaller. Um, I just wanted to see if I could keep discus, and you now I can. So when I set up my new 75 gallon, which is going to happen really, really, really soon, I'll probably get a bunch of discus and all tons and stuff. So, yeah. I also have, um, some bristle nose in here. I have two super reds, one lemon, and a bunch of L397 plecos. I think I have five of them. Of course, none of them want to show up. They're usually very outgoing, actually. Let me try to find them. Here's one of the lemon bristle nose plecos. Um, this is just a female lemon bristle nose. Um, oh, here's one of the L397. You can kind of see he's hanging out here. Here's also one of the super reds. So, yeah, this is a standard kind of community tank. Um, I will be moving a lot of this stuff around, so I just wanted to kind of document this before I change it. Um, these Epistogramma Fire Red, or Fire Gold Fry are right about a month and a half old, I think. The Celestial Pearl Daniels in here are probably around there, and so the Brigitte Rasboras. And yeah, I also have a bunch more of these fry in here. I feel like this drop will look cool. Um, there's a bunch of long fin electric blue rams and um, hmm, what are these guys? Oh, they're more epistogram of fire golds. So I have around 150 or so fry in here. They're doing really good. They're around two weeks old. I just fed them some baby brine shrimp so you can kind of see how they're all. They all have huge bellies and they look really cute. So yeah, I'm gonna try to find the male long fin electric blue ram because he's really stunning um you can probably check out my previous video i made about breeding rams you can see him in there but here's the female she looks awesome i really really like this strain and i have a ton of fry from him so yeah let's get on to the next tank all right so here's the next tank this is a 20 gallon with a bunch of uh, more of the rams i didn't have enough space in the, in the 29 gallon for them so they kind of end up in here i also have a bunch of guppies these are red dragons it's a really cool strain i really enjoy them i just recently got these around i think three months ago or so and they're doing well i also have a bunch of corridors in here i have some uh gold lasers some similis um orange venezuelanus i also have one other type a i mean uh corridors Agazii, and I have like a bunch of them, but they always hide, so it's really tough for me to videotape them. So, yeah, and this tank is just doing great. 
it's like a standard 29 gallon tank and you can kind of look at the fish so in here i'm going to be moving all these guppies out um, all these guppies are getting moved to a pond i have in my garage and um in here there's going to be a, a lot of cool rainbows so i found a breeder here breeder here um i'm in the bay area so i found a guy who's in um sacramento and i'm going to buy some really cool rainbow from him so if you guys are interested in rainbows definitely subscribe and we'll be trying to breed them and all that kind of stuff and they're really cool um yeah i really really like this strain of guppies um i really enjoy the big body i really really enjoy the color obviously the females have nice color like you can see right here i finally got a good camera um this is like a new iphone iphone 12 mini so i'm really happy with um the camera quality on this so yeah and then here i just have a bunch of mixed plants basically this is the tank that all my um cuttings go into so whenever i trim plants i just throw it in here and it provides great cover for the fry like you can see some of the fry darting around in the back actually i don't think you can see them but you gotta trust me there's a bunch of fry in the back um and they do great none of them get eaten because there's so much space for them to hang out and all i run in this tank is a heater and uh what's this thing called an air stone and yeah this tank is doing really great of course none of the corridors oh here's one it made a small appearance here's a venezuelanus and there's also a bunch of ram's horn snails in here and um yeah here's one of the agazi quarries i don't know if you can see them but these quarries will all be getting moved out of here they hide too much in here they have way too many places to hide so i'm going to be moving them into my um 75 gallon tank when i set it up but yeah this tank's doing good a lot of the rams in here are super cool you can kind of see the color i wish i could have showed you my big adult male but he was kind of hiding in the back so you're gonna have to do with one of these fry but yeah this, that's all i really got for this tank so we can move on to the next one okay so this is the next tank um this is just my caradina shrimp tank and my tetra breeding setup so we can first talk about this side which is the these are all my high grade really really high grade nice i've been breeding them for a while for color blue bolts and i do have some red um red galaxies in here um they kind of just ended up in here i gotta get rid of them and yeah i also have a bunch of bridgette raspberry fry and some celestial pearl daniel fry that i'm just raising also probably have some random epistogrammas in here i put a couple in here i'm not sure where they went i do have a random ram he was just kind of stunted so he ended up in here as well but you can kind of see some of the blue bolts this one right here is a blue steel but i haven't figured out how to get rid of the blue steels completely and that's a nice female so i just decided to keep her it's another nice male um yeah they kind of like hanging out in the back so don't really have too much great video of them here's another one i did have a lot of pregnant females in here but then i wanted to get rid of the hydra let's see if it focuses on the hydra yeah there's some hydra on here so i dosed some hydrogen peroxide into here and i think that caused them to drop all their eggs which is really unfortunate but i guess i have next month right so yeah i also have a very you know, cool mix of plants in here um some rotala vietnam some rotala macrandra variegated there's some crip pink flamingo this i forgot what moss this is but it's another cool moss so i have some one of my favorite plants of all time which i just trimmed a bunch so it looks kind of terrible but ludwigia arcuata cross with rep repens this is a really really cool plant super awesome i really enjoy it let's see i also have a bunch of this mini christmas moss hmm. i don't have any big clumps in here so it doesn't really show but yeah this is kind of just a random shrimp tank that i like oh here's one of the epistogramma fry i just kind of put one in here just to see how he'd do and so far he's been doing great here's another one of the shrimp and as the shrimp age they like they like color up really really well so yeah and um this side is my tetra breeding setup so this is how i breed like the celestial pearl Daniels, the rasboras i have bred some cardinals in here um i just put in some carry tetras in here a few days ago so there should be fry hopefully in a couple of days but yeah that's all that's that there is basically for 
this tank this is a 10 gallon tank again it just runs a little air stone um yeah so here's the next tank this is my shell dweller tank and the glass is a little dirty i don't like messing with this tank because i feel like they feel more comfortable when the glass is not clean there's some frying here I also have some culls of my endlers and my guppies and stuff. Here's like a deformed female. I didn't want to kill her, so I just threw her in here. Here's like a, a poorly colored black bar endler male. I just threw him in here too. But there's not really much to this tank. It's just like a seven gallon tank. I started out with like six of these guys, and now I have like 10 or something like that. I have a bunch of fry in here. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this tank. Okay, so here's the last tank I have. So this is just a 20 gallon tank with a bunch of uh, rainbow tiger antlers. I used to have some super red bristlenose in here, but I just moved them to the 30 gallon. So this is the tank that's getting replaced with a 75 gallon tank and all these fish are going to um, my friend who's also my business partner. And um, yeah, so he's gonna be breeding these rainbow tiger antlers in a pond. This is actually a really tough strand to get. These these were like bred by Lucas Brents. I don't even know if he has. I, I think he still has them, but I'm not sure. But I got these from him a little while ago, and I still have them. They're doing great. And yeah, these are really, really pretty endler. I really enjoy them. And this tank looks kind of um, red because I am running like a red light in this tank. Mm, let me see. It's like a... It's one of those like old, really old lights. I just had one lying around, so I just decided to why not use it? Why waste it? So... It, it kind of ended up in this tank. I also have a bunch of plants in here. And this is one of the few tanks that I run a hang back, fil back filter on. I can't pronounce anything today. But yeah, that's all that's basically in here. Um, I have a ton of these endlers. And um, yeah, so they'll be going to my pond. If you're interested in buying some of these guys, I do have a website. Maybe I'll link it in. I'll link it in the description if you're interested in them. And um, yeah. We can go look at my black bar in the pond then. Okay, so here's the pond. Um, it's like a 40 gallon pond, I think. It's something around there. It's 40 or 45 gallons. Um, and here are all my black bar endlers. I just recently set up this pond, so there's still like not that many plants in here. Um, but there's a ton of these guys. They, they don't show up well on camera at all. Um, they mainly look good from the side. Uh, I just didn't have space for this many fish. Like, you can probably see there's probably 400 of them in here. So I don't have space for all of them. So they kind of have to go in a pond. So, yeah, they ended up in here. Um, I got this strain you know, five years ago or so. And this is one of the toughest strains I've a fish probably out there. Um, a quick story about these guys. So... Uh, one summer during summer, um, I have like a uh, summer break from school, so uh, we went to India, and my dad was the one who was taking care of these guys, and he severely overfed the tank, and basically the whole tank got extremely polluted, so there was like a half inch layer of fish food on the bottom, and there was a ton of ammonia, and the tank smelled terrible, and basically the endlers survived that somehow. And ever since then, they've been super hardy, like basically unkillable. I had, I shipped these guys a lot. He's one of my best selling fish. Um, I've had these survive for six weeks in the mail. Um, I usually have them survive 10 days in the mail, no problem. I'm not even worried about it. And they're really pretty strange. They have really nice uh, long fins. The males get a nice size. The females are. Like you can obviously see female endlers are ginormous. They're like at just as large as guppies. And in my opinion, endlers are probably the best beginner fish out there. I, w I really wish I could show you guys like how pretty they are. But unfortunately I cannot. <laughs> so all this pond, I the only thing I run in this pond is just a heater. Just to make sure this is in my garage. So the, I just want to make sure the tank's hot enough. So... Yeah, I will be setting another pond like this for the guppies that I was talking about earlier, the red dragons. And hopefully I'll be setting a lot, up a lot more ponds like this. So, yeah, um, you can kind of see how the endlers look. There's a couple, there's a bunch of males in here. And I really, really like this strain as I keep saying over and over. But, yeah, that's basically all. If you guys enjoyed it, um, definitely subscribe. I'll, I'll definitely answer any questions you guys have. And, um, 
yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.